Welcome back to another training session of the seven day podcast launch challenge. I hope you're enjoying it so far in this particular episode or lesson, you're going to absolutely be blown away. We're going to be covering a tool that I love and adore and use almost every day for content creation purposes. Cast Magic basically turns all your audio into marketing content, summaries, transcripts, email drafts, any marketing content you want for your coaching courses, webinars, events, etc. First things first, pricing. Pricing starts at $23 a month, but every each one of these plans starts with a free seven day trial. All you have to do is click sign up, add your email password, and once you click create an account, it will prompt you to fill out your payment details and all that good stuff. We don't need to do that. That's really simple. Once you've created an account with Castmetric, this is what you'll see. On the side, on the left hand side, you'll see spaces. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see community prompts, schedule an onboarding call, join our Slack community, become an affiliate, write us a testimonial. The easiest way to get started is to click this plus button to create a space. And spaces are like projects you're working on. For the name of this, we're going to go podcast test, okay? It will be the name of your podcast. Now, the label type is what you would like each upload to be identified as. Is it a number? Is it a season with episode number? Is it free form or none? You can choose what you wish. This is the language that it's recorded in, so English, British, but it could be English, US, or Spanish, or French, whatever it might be. And then these magic words are spelling suggestions for the Cast Magic AI. So I'll just do Chris Cowden, but you can do whatever you wish and just make sure that it's separated with commas. And then if you have a context prompt, which is an additional prompt that will be injected into the Cast Magic AI, you can add that there, but please don't worry about it. Just click save space if you don't have a custom prompt. Now, a space can be a podcast could be for your YouTube content, coaching content, meetings, customer discovery, sales calls, courses, webinar, and custom. Now, each space is going to create unique content. For example, podcasts are going to create titles, keywords, speaker bios, introductions, time-stamped overview questions, and the rest. If you're creating YouTube-specific content, that it's going to help you with your YouTube description, YouTube keywords, email newsletter, YouTube to tweets, etc., Once you've picked the one that suits your need, which will probably be podcast, all you do is click continue with podcast and it will create the blank canvas where you can start to add your content. At this stage, you'll go to the top right and click import audio or video. At this point, you can choose whether you upload it from your computer, import from YouTube, Vimeo, Zapier, Reels or RSS. Now, if you've already set up your podcast inside PodOps, then I would add your RSS feed, which will just be your RSS URL. And once you've done that, just click submit. Every time you publish your content, you'll be able to import it into this space. But for this example, we're just going to upload from the file on the computer. So I'll browse my file. I'm going to click Gumlet returns to AppSumo. If I want to change to a custom title, I can can do that but this is the file that links to the file on my computer so i'll keep it like that once i'm ready just click save recording and it will continue to process okay so now it's completely processed what i'm going to do is click the title and the first things first is to identify the speakers in this recording so because this was during an event with there's multiple speakers so what you'll just do is you'll click speaker a You'll listen to the transcript or read the transcript and you'll be able to identify who was speaking. Once you've done that, once you've done that, you can determine what role they were. So Divyesh from Gumlet is a guest. So I'll click guest and then I'll click create new speaker. It will save Divyesh as the speaker. Now I'll go to speaker B and listen again. And that was me. And then I'm the host, create new speaker. What I'm going to do now is, this is the transcript, by the way. This has the transcript without filler words, ums or ahs. It's the cleanest transcription you'll get. Now, once you've done that, you'll click AI content. Now, remember when we created the space, we 
determined that it was a podcast and that these are the marketing assets it was going to create for us. So here it's processing different titles, different keywords, speaker bios, an introduction, timestamp overview, questions, key topics and bullets, clip finder with quotes, hooks and timestamps, real script, LinkedIn post, newsletter, tweet thread, threats by Instagram. That's what it's created because it's for a podcast space. But remember, there was meetings, customer discovery, sales, and so on at different spaces. Now, the easiest way to get around this to create even more content for your podcast is to explore community prompts. Now, these are prompts that have been created by other users of Cast Magic to add more content to their space. So, for example, the Cast Magic team. Custom newsletter. Using the context in this episode, write an email newsletter about the podcast release. Use the following outline for the episode. I like the sound of that. I'm going to click add to space. It's going to generate that for me and it's going to add it to the bottom of this space. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to explore community prompts again. Commun- conversation starters. Write five conversation starters for the Facebook group to generate discussion about this episode. Now, If you're like me, you want to build a community around your podcast so that more people can learn about your content and also maybe buy from you as well. Uh, And this is a good way to build community. So what you would do is add to space if you like the prompt or not. Remember, all of this is up to you. You're the podcaster. You get to define which kind of content you create. Now I'm going to do it one last time. Click community prompts. I'm going to scroll down. Oh, look, lead magnet. Giving the context of this recording, create a promotional post and corresponding lead magnet with the purpose of generating more inbound interest. That sounds really cool. So I'm going to click add to space and then it's going to generate that piece of content. Now, once that's generated, not only will I I'll scroll down, but I'll show you some other cool features as well. So here is the saved prompt custom newsletter that is going to generate for me with five key takeaways from the episode. One, two, three, four, five. Numbered correctly, conversation starters, 10 conversation starters, and then the lead magnet. This is creating the lead lead magnet for me. Now, the cool feature that I want to share with you, and I mean, that was really cool in itself, is I can create a custom prompt of myself. So if you're very good at writing prompts inside chat GPT, you'll be very great at writing prompts for Cast Magic because it's using the same technology, but for your audio instead of uh, random content from Google. So you'll write your prompt in here. And then if you have a specific piece of content that you want to match the tone of this content with, you can do that as well. So you'll add in a tweet that you've written or an email that you've written or a podcast transcript that you've recorded from a previous episode. You can do that so that the AI matches your tone and style. Once you're ready, you can click save custom prompt and it will add it to the bottom of this list as well. Now I'm going to go one step further and blow your mind even more. This magic chat feature is amazing. You can ask the AI to create anything you want from this recording. So there's some examples here. Lessons learned, 10 lessons covered in the event. So three fun facts, fun facts revealed in this recording. Key themes, seven key themes discussed. And then this blog post example, which the prompt is using the context from the recording, write a comprehensive 600 word blog post explaining all the topics discussed. It will include a title, subheader, as well as section headers for each section. Here it is. Here's the title subject and it's created within within 10 seconds. I can save it as a prompt, which will be added to my space. So let's just go newsletter. 600 words. I will click save custom prompt and it will add it to the AI content at the bottom of the page. As you see, I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom. It's currently generating a newsletter with 600 words using the prompt that was created inside Magic Chat. And you can also say in the prompt, I am an expert marketer. I am an expert writer. I am an expert teacher. I am an expert dot, dot, dot. 
write me a launch strategy, write me a lead magnet, and it will use whatever your prompt is and the audio file to create the content for you. Just to recap, you've uploaded your audio file, it's generated a transcript without ums, ahs, or filler words. It's also generated marketing assets that you can use to promote your content. And then magic chat feature, these are unique prompts that you've written. You can download the transcript as a PDF or text here, share with a link. You can share the AI content that's been created. You can give people the option to create magic chat using your content. You can send as a transcript only, which would be the transcript link here. If you want them to add the AI content, you can, and you can embed it as well. So this is really cool. If you already have your website, you don't want to repost it. You can upload it to your website and people can read the content from there. So the only way to export content right now from Cast Magic is with CSV. And one last thing that I want to share with you is that Cast Magic has its own app. This is how you install it. You scan the QR code that's visible there. You download Test Flight in the App Store and then you install the app. It's really as simple as one, two, three. What Cast Magic iOS is, is it's an app that helps you record on the go. So let's just say you're with friends and you want to record that conversation. You can open the app and record that conversation. Let's just say you've finished reading a book and you have a stream of consciousness and you want to be able to capture all those ideas. Cast Magic articulates your ideas for you. The thinking behind the iOS app was that there's a bunch of great content and media that happens online behind your computer, but also we are away from our computers, we're out, we're on the go so much as well. So I think there's a couple of use cases that are that iOS really unlocks. So the first is if you're using it to do something like ramble your thoughts or voice notes, et cetera, into an app, great. You can do that now if you're in your car, you're on a walk and you wanna just basically dump unstructured thoughts into your app, you can do that and it's gonna instantly sync with your Cast Magic workspace. So you might use that to do something like draft an email, follow up, or use it as additional context when you're generating a page or use it for anything else that you'd like. So that's one use case. The other use cases that are really interesting are that we were excited about were things like, you know, meetings, in-person meetings, right? If you're having a coffee chat, you can't have your Fathom recorder, or your Zoom recorder, like show up to your coffee chat with you. So this was like a nice in-between where if you're the type of person that like relies on having your meeting stuff recorded, now you could basically do that within Cast Magic, be able to draft content from in-person meetings you may be having. And then the third use case, like I haven't done it myself, but we were actually thinking about you could theoretically record podcast related conversations directly on your phone now, right? You could press go record the way I would handle it personally. We don't have the audio enhancement stuff done or built yet, maybe maybe in a little bit of times down the way. But the way I'd probably do it is just because the whatever's recorded in the app syncs with your Cast Magic workspace, you could grab that audio file in your Cast Magic workspace export it to something like, you know, Adobe podcast where you just drop it in, it does the audio enhancement for you. And you'd have like a production ready podcast ready to go. And I think with the trends that we're seeing in podcasting, which are towards, you know, oftentimes shorter content, more engaging content, and more like recurring, more frequent content. I think it's a big unlock for podcasters who, you know, maybe it's not your two hour long interview that you're doing either remotely or in person in a studio. But maybe if you want to start breaking up your day and doing, you know, five minute, 10 minute, 15 minute sort of podcast, whether interview or single format, it might give you a good option to record that and then already have all the content promotion and all those assets already done for you. If you do have any other questions, reach out to me inside podcast launch community or email me at podcastlaunchagency at gmail.com and I'll be happy to assist you. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you on the next training.